Hi there guys. Today I want to talk about Chinese watches. I've got some examples here from my own collection and I'm uh, keen to, to get a view from people on what their thoughts are in their own Chinese watches, uh, especially from those who actually own some. Uh, again, uh, you know, there's a very easy to sort of make comments about uh, a watch that you haven't seen in the, uh, the flesh, so to speak. Uh, like I say, those who haven't seen them and maybe those who don't have any of these particular models, I'm hoping that this video gives you a bit of an insight into what the model looks like, um, whether it's something that you might want to acquire, and um, yeah, just you know, like I say, just have a look at a few good budget um, automatics and mechanicals. Okay, so this is the first watch that I wanted to show you. This is a um, Seagull uh, movement watch. It is based off the Flieger style uh, German Luftwaffe pilot's watch. It is a 44 mil, uh, not including the crown, which is a wind up, pulls out obviously to tell the time. No date there, and there is very clear numerals and a second hand part. Uh, but again, the loom on this is, um, well, atrocious really. But again, this watch can be had for around about 70 US dollars. The Strap has seen a little bit of use from me. Uh, I've put a deployment clasp on it that came from another watch. Um, but again, it's, it's really good quality, uh, Chinese made also. Uh, but the strap is actually really good quality. It's a nice thick strap, kind of quite supple. Uh, and again, it you know forms to the, the wrist very well. When you look at the actual movement, it's obviously based off a of Unitas style. This is uh, manufactured by Seagull. There is um, very nice, um, I suppose I was going to say Geneva waves, but these are more like um, uh, Shanghai waves or Ganzhou uh, waves. Movements well decorated, swan net regulator, um, has a power reserve of around about 40 hours, and is um, you know a really good watch for somebody who wants something that looks like that sort of um, you know big pilot or um, that Flieger style um, you know military style watch. Next up, we have the Parnese. Uh, this is uh, similar to the Flieger, but it's a hell of a lot heavier. Seems to be a lot more sturdy. It's a beautiful um, um, stainless steel uh, case. It is a mineral crystal, uh, and the reason I can tell that is because I actually did scratch it um, on something that was obviously harder than the mineral crystal, which is a bit of a shame, but um, when you're looking face on, you can't really tell that there is a scratch there. Again, the loom on this is somewhat better than on the Flieger, but it's still not uh, anything to write home about. I actually put this on a uh, on a different strap. Um, this uh, this is just a, a padded sort of crocodile style strap with the, obviously the white contrast stitching. It really sets the um, the watch off well. And again, you know, this watch probably retail for about ninety US dollars. Maybe I paid for it, but again, you know. Um, a lovely watch, um, fantastic piece for uh, for the weekend. And again, for somebody who wants like a really nice looking watch that has a fairly tight budget, these watches just, you just can't beat them. So you look at this movement, uh, you know, it, the finishing on it is fantastic. It's got the circular grain across the, um, the entire watch, uh, even the rotors decorated, and you obviously have blued screws in there as well. And you know, some people may say they're you know they're uh, they're painted, um, or they're you know they're they're not typical or, or or genuine blued screws as such. But from my side of things, you know, at ninety bucks, what do you expect? This is just a you know solid watch for the price. I don't know whether you can see sort of actually in there. Uh, typically with cheaper watches, um, the um, the movement spacer is is typically plastic. This is actually a steel spacer around it, and it's screwed in. So you know. Again, for ninety dollars, I think this is a fantastic piece, um, absolute value for money. And again, you know, when you look at these um, these watches, look at them for what they are, which is uh, you know a bit of fun, and um, you know, again, just a, just an honest investment, um, and just uh, again, you know, I, I've had these watches for around about three or four years, and they're still going strong. Uh, for that price, I just don't think you can beat them. So guys, this is my favorite Chinese watch. It is, I agree with you, absolutely a uh, homage, a super homage of the IWC. 
Uh, it is a Parnis, uh, whether you can see that there, Parnis chronometer, power reserve, automatic. In terms of chronometer, I, uh, I don't really know whether that's a true statement or not. I'm absolutely certain it's not been Switzerland to be certified, uh, but whether it falls within the specs of chronometer is something that I can't attest to. I only wear these watches maybe one, maximum two days in a row before they're rotated. So whether they're 20 or 30 seconds a day off doesn't really matter to me. Uh, it doesn't make any difference as long as they don't sort of start falling into the 10 minutes every hour league. And again, whether I mentioned it before on those other watches, these have been in my collection for two, three, four years or so, and um, they, you know, they're still running strong. So those that uh, think that they're similar to a dodgy Rolex or sorry, a Folex, um, you know, they're they're not like that at all. These watches are made, uh, or maybe I just maybe I just got good movements. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, let me know in your comments. Uh, in the comments section but i think that these are uh, true true value for money uh, anyway i'll stop banging on about how good they are in terms of the uh, the cost this was about 80 us dollars again the reason i really like this one is because of those numerals and the um, the hands the the blue really sets off under certain light it's just it's a wonderful um dial it's very really clean it's clever and um, you know again when the sun catches it it's just absolutely spectacular and again for somebody who doesn't really have the money to uh, purchase an IWC at you know five six seven thousand I don't know what the the uh, the IWC version retails for you know from 10 feet away this just you know it looks gets it gives the the owner exactly the same um, feel you know it, it, it is beautiful so in the back is display I'm not too keen on how they've done the display. I think it would have been better if there was a little bit of a, you know, a bit of a metal part around here, so it was a bit of a smaller window. But again, the movement, um, clearly, you know, well decorated with circular graining. Again, much the same as the other watch, uh, blued screws, whether that be chemical or painted. Again, don't really care. But um, you know, just a, a good quality movement. Not particularly noisy. Um, and uh, yeah, just a you know great watch. This is the watch that really got me into Chinese manufactured uh, pieces. This is made by a gentleman named Gatart, who custom makes uh, obviously Panerai Luminor um, homages. Uh, these watches are uh, actually they're quite expensive in terms of uh, the other ones that I've shown you, but they uh, this one was about 120. US dollars but for 120 US dollars you get a super loom dial which is C1 Luminova um, you choose the color loom believe it or not you can choose whether it be green yellow white black beige uh, whatever you want uh, the hands again you can choose the type of hands that you want and the case whether you want a straight outright polished one or whether you want brushed and polished as uh, this one was. Uh, then when you get to the, um, the strap, you can choose what type of strap um, you wish to have as well. Um, the movement is actually, if we can just get it, I think, um, I know it's just slightly different to that one. Um, but again, it is a seagull movement with um, Shanghai waves or Ganzhou waves. As you would expect with that Unitas style movement, it is a wind up. Power reserve on this again is uh, in the 40 hour mark. Um, and believe it or not, it is uh, 200 meters water, it's actually 300 meters water resistant. Um, I can attest this because I have worn it in the surf and I've worn it in the pool and it is absolutely fine. Um, and again, you know, you look at sort of the Folex um, market or the outright counterfeit watches and quality control um, is obviously atrocious apart from the you know the legitimacy and the ethics of of um, companies that make those watches um, you know obviously come into question but you know this this is actually you know it is um, a homage but in terms of its quality um, you know for 120 bucks or whatever it was 
fantastic piece. Sapphire crystal uh, on the front. I opted for mineral on the back. As again, you know, very nice to have sapphire on the back, but um, the hardest thing that that's ever going to be touching is probably the um, the uh, coffee table or my bedside table or my wrist, and none of which are hard enough to scratch uh, mineral crystal. And again, it's uh, it's hidden, so it doesn't really matter if it does get scratched anyway. There is even an anti-reflective coating on the inside of this watch. Um, uh, so, you know, for 120 bucks, I uh, can't really argue. The strap, silicon, very soft, vanilla scented. Um, I have a feeling that this watch is, uh, or this strap was made for, um, for probably higher end watches. It may be just part of an additional run, uh, but obviously it's unbranded. Um, and, uh, and the watch actually came with a really nice, strong leather strap as well. Uh, obviously not put it on. I, th I just think this this particular watch looks fantastic on the um, the rubber strap, but uh, the other strap was fantastic. You know, it's so really good quality, very thick leather, um, and uh, you know for 120 bucks, even when you're looking at Panerai style straps, you can be paying 50, 60 bucks for a good quality leather strap, possibly even more. So um, all in all, really good value for money. And uh, this absolutely watertight, water resistant, tested, proven and certified. Can't beat them. And uh, the dial again with that super lumen over or C1 loom lights up like a torch. Anyway, I hope that uh, you guys have really enjoyed the video. I apologize for rattling on, but um, again, I say, I hope that this gives you a bit of confidence to dip your toe in the, uh, the market of Chinese watches. And again, Please put some comments in. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the video uh, or to the channel, sorry. And uh, if you have any questions, please just ask and I'll respond back. All right, guys, take care. Bye.